You ever wanted to start something, do something, say something for a long time, but peer, fear has kept you totally paralyzed? Well, you are really in good company. I want you to stay tuned for ways that you can move beyond fear and do the thing you've been wanting to do. Welcome to Blissful Consults with yours truly, Dr. Cami, a PhD licensed psychotherapist with special training in trauma-informed healthcare. Nettie from California wrote in with a question about how to move beyond fear that's holding her back. So after many years of working for others, I really wanted to venture off and start my own enterprise. I know I can do it, but I am paralyzed with fear. I was abused in my last job, winning a class action lawsuit for five plus years of daily harassment. I feel like it's just got me completely frozen. How do I move beyond my fear? Fear can take us in and hold us tight. Stay tuned to hear my response on how to move beyond fear. Hello, my name is Dr. Cami, and I am the founder and president of Bliss in Being. We offer cutting edge psychotherapy and coaching for people who are ready to heal from the chronic effects of stress and trauma. I personally can help you move from the brink of burnout to holistic thriving. It's time for you to finally enjoy the life you've worked so hard to build, and I am here to help you make it happen. Nettie, I want to start off by saying how grateful I am that you wrote in and how deeply sorry I am for the ways that your previous company treated you. You got justice in the courts of law, and now you need justice in your professional and your personal life. So no matter how difficult it may seem, there are ways to overcome the trauma and baggage from the past and move on to a better future. You will need to take things slow and be gentle with yourself. But eventually, you can put the past behind you and enjoy a healthy, happy career. So let me share some foundational strategies to just get you started. So first, it's important to find an outlet for your emotions. So when you're dealing with the pain of the past, it can be really tempting to turn to drugs or alcohol for comfort. But really, these things will only make it worse in the long run. So it's helpful to find an outlet where your mind, your body, and your spirit are all in sync and in flow. So for, for some, it might be a short sprint outside. For others, it could be doing watercolor. And for you, it might be something entirely different, like traveling abroad or cooking. So find something that makes you feel good and do that thing regularly. Not only will this help you cope with your emotions, but it's also really good for your physical health. So when your mind and your body are clear, you have a greater ability to make wise decisions that serve your ultimate goal. It's a new year. And with that comes the promise of a fresh start, a new beginning where you can leave your troubles behind and really work for your goals. So for a lot of people, that's easier said than done. It's not easy to forget the past and move on when it feels like every day is a struggle. But after you find an outlet for your thoughts and feelings, there is a next step that is also really important. So another key step is starting fresh with a new venture after years of abuse is to acknowledge that you need help. It's not going to be easy to do it yourself and you shouldn't have to. Reach out to friends, family, a therapist, a business coach for guidance. You need to process what happened and start working through the pain. You will have a greater sense of yourself, your fears, and your resilience once you start sharing your story. When you've connected with someone that you trust, create a list of personal development goals and how you would translate those into your professional life. So for example, if one of your goals is to start to trust yourself, how would that look in your professional life? It might mean listening to the voice inside that cautions you against some steps and encourages you toward others. It could be reaching out to contacts on LinkedIn for networking and guidance. Please also remember that not everything needs to happen overnight. Start small and gradually work up to where you want to be. Make sure you set realistic deadlines for yourself and be patient with yourself. 
Rome wasn't built in a day and you won't be able to overcome all the trauma from your past in a single week or a single month or even a single year. It might take time. It's not easy to let go of the past, especially when it has left really difficult memories in your mind and in your body and your spirit. But you have to remember that people change and so do careers. You are capable of making this change. And the good news is you do not have to make the change alone. 